Hello guys, remember me? I'm Orbator, your Welsh engineer. And welcome to Kerbal Quest, part 22. Burning space wings and delivering Kerbals? <laughs> we'll find out what I mean by that. But first off, the launches. One launch we have is the emergency refueler because we got to ding di No, we haven't. We got, yeah, to ding di jong We're picking up another Kerbal from Jewel to go to Eve. But he ran out of fuel. He hasn't got enough fuel to get back to Kerbin, then to, to Eve. And we've got this. I've neglected our Sun Space Station. So I'm going to add some extra arms to it. We've got all the modules on top. You can see it stacked nice and neatly. And yeah, so yeah, the launch. I had to make sure that these separated correctly. I missed stage, so I had to do some manual staging during launch. But I love staging during launch. It's one of my favorite things of doing these, even though I don't include them in the videos all the time. Anyway, first off, we have to get Dr. Bones to the EVE base that we landed on EVE. Was it in last? Yeah, last episode. We ballooned it down to the surface and we almost missed the main base. Well, we did miss the main base. We almost hit the ocean as well, which would have been terrible. I've been the third or fourth base we'd landed in the ocean. Anyway, that is our insignificant burn to EVE. I'm not sure. Was that the correction burn? That may have been the correction burn. But anyway, we quickly go to Eve, and then we come in for landing. Let's get to a comment as we're coming down from F3R, or FAR, or fr 3R, oh, whatever it means. He says, hello, smiley face with looks like boobies. <laughs> you know, that number three, two dots and a number three, which looks like a smiley face, but boobies. I'm not sure what that is anyway. <laughs> Hello! Awesome stuff, stranding Kerbals on all planets like me. Oh, what did it say that to? I can't remember. I don't think I replied to the wrong comment there. Anyway, as we're coming down, I'm using auto land to get the trajectory for landing, but I'm going to do the man landing manually, hopefully. And I'm going to overshoot the landing spot slightly. Hopefully that'll get us to the base correctly. I'm not sure because I noticed that even though that the the arrows there are showing where we're going to land with the trajectories mod, we never seem to get that correct because I think it doesn't account for aerodynamics if you change something like we're going to separate that. So now the aerodynamic or aero breaking properties have changed for this. Anyway, from Zino Gaming 38. Can you make a video on how to install KSI? I have been having problems. Well, I think I've noted you in the... What was it? Dino Boy Gaming. I can't remember. Anyway, I sure you were in the chat in my live stream. I show I did a quick show because I messed up on one of my, on my submarine thing. And I didn't have a lot of time because I was going to work the next day. So I think I showed you guys. I might do something. I'm not sure, but... Anyway, I might do a video on that because mods seem to be hard for some people, although they, once you get to know how to install them, they're very easy and they're awesome mods you can install. Sorry if it comes so along, Nez. Oh, look at that. We're coming straight in for the base. Are we going to overshoot it? I hope not. Oh no, it looks like we're on a good trajectory. Obviously, this is all post commentary, so I know exactly what's going to happen. Anyway, from Natural Predator, Orbator, you have not sent Billy out of the galaxy. I love your vids. Also, your quality is good as YouTuber, with millions of subs. I wish. <laughs> also, in the next episode, please yell your favorite meme. Oh, balls. I don't even know what a meme is. I'm old fashioned. Oh no! <laughs> we're not going to hit land, we're going to hit the ocean. No! Well, the good thing with this is we've got a Kerbal on here. And he can swim to the shore. Which is what I'm going to get Dr. Bones to do. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be cruel. Anyway, my favourite meme. Let me stop the video and find a favourite meme. Okay, so I've found two memes which I like. One of them is you've got two planes in the air at the same time. Now what? I don't know. I didn't think I'd get this far. And also, the next one is born too late to explore the Earth. Born too early to explore the galaxy. 
born just in time to play KSP. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure if they account for memes and oh yes, when you try fa four times fast forward while trim swimming in Eve's oceans, that happens. Uh, hyper edit. <laughs> yes, we swam all the way to the shore with a little hyper edit help and now he's on the surface. Okay, now we just have to walk to the base. Good luck with that. That was a long swim. Anyway, from Jack Asherby. Thanks, Orbiter. My autocorrect always makes me look like I can't spell. <laughs> I, I find the same thing. I tried to... What was it? Yeah, I was trying to find, type in OBS for searching on my phone. And every time I typed OBS, it comes with observations. Yes, after a long walk, Dr. Bones floats down to the surface. Totally didn't use hyper-edit here. So, yeah, I, it came with observation, and I won't notice it until I press enter, where I put observation into the search, and then, poof, my search doesn't come up. From Sam Ogier. Can you put me on the man? I haven't made it yet. <laughs> what you gotta do, Sam, is believe in yourself. Believe you can get to the man, and then you'll get to the man after crashing a lot probably but yes I will start your coil not training and then we shall get you all the way to the man now let's get dr. bones into this now at this point I was thinking whoops I think I forgot to leave a seat for you but obviously in hindsight I didn't forget and I did leave a seat for him so who've we got in here we've got dr. bones Briar Russell Wyatt Nelson Games, Ballistic Bunny, and Mezzy Kerbin. So awesome stuff. We've got five Kerbals on the surface of EVE. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We're going to have to start finding ways of landing modules and get them accurately landed because all the blue method of bringing them down and thrusting them towards the base didn't seem to work that well. Anyway, talking about ker Kerbals, let's bring one home. In fact, I think that'll be the first Kerbal we're going to bring home from Jewel to Kerbin. I think, is that the first Kerbal we're going to bring back? I think that deserves a celebration of some kind. I'm, I'm not sure what. But anyway, before we go on to that, let's get these modules all the way to the Sun Station. I have to do a slingshot bypass of, oh, what am I saying? Gravity breaking around Eve. We get this in a lower orbit around the sun, so we can easily intercept with the space sta sun space station. And as we do so, let's get into comments. Michael Tarantolo! Can you review what, uh, KSP version 1.2 beta? In fact, I want to. I might actually do that on the live stream if I don't have time to do it in a video. And it, I think it'd be fun just to... to watch me wallow in the new features oh what does this do i don't know <laughs> yeah so we'll find out what i suppose in the live stream okay so who have we got next we got dest troll x hey orbiter i asked you on a stream once to make a submarine and it would be amazing if you <laughs> if you sent me to the bottom of the ocean on kerbin I love your vids, keep it up. Well, in fact, I was going to build a base under the ocean on Kerbin, and I don't know what's given this oscillation. I've had this oscillation before. I think it was because I put the RCS on and I was given too much fine control. This was with mech chip as well. It's weird sometimes these mods. So, wait, RCS off and problem solved. But there's a but here. <laughs> Okay, so let's separate these. Let's separate the probe. I have magnets on this probe to enable us to capture the other modules. I couldn't work out to target them. No! I forgot the RCS fuel tanks! That is unforgivable. But that's not going to stop me trying. Let's turn these magnets on. And we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Reduce the thrust of the main engine and we'll have to do manual thrusting turning a thrusting is the way to go but we've got really low delta v so we're gonna have to 
really be careful with this. We got RCS few we got sort of RCS Venura engines to get sideways movement. So hopefully this will work. You know, thrust towards one of the engines, use a sideways to get a dead on collision. I tried to I tried everything to try to find look at all this. All that on the list. I decided bugger it, I'm not gonna try and search for those modules on the list. I'm gonna do this manually. We have to do this by eye, Captain. And as we're doing this by eye, let's read a comment out by eye. From Grezog Grezegors. Brezgoweskarigazi. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't read that. <laughs> it's Russian, obviously, or or some sort of I don't know, you may not be Russian, so I apologize if you're not Russian. Anyway, can you name a Kerbal after me and send him on an escape trajectory out of the sol out of the solar system? That is two people who want me to send a Kerbal out of the solar system. And yes, we ran out of fuel in that tank. <laughs> no! <laughs> Those RCS fuel tanks take a lot of fuel. Those uh, vanilla engines. <laughs> Balls to it! Another failure! I was wondering whether to add fuel, but I thought, no. We'll strike this down as a proper failure and carry on with us. We'll have to send out more modules, obviously. Anyway, if we can't save them, save those modules, let's save to Ding De Jong. First off, we have to get ourselves captured into orbit around Jewel and then on our intercept course. And as we do so, from BTG02, I strapped Bill to a rocket design to run out of fuel on a man intercept to crash after capturing data. Three hours later, I find Bill on Duna with a very low, but still some fuel. Left planting a flag Whoops! <laughs> In fact, that is weird. That is awesome, mind, to have your uh, Kerbal on the way to the man, and then suddenly, suddenly, you—well, not suddenly, sorry. After a few <laughs> hours, you find that he slingshot past the man and somehow made it to Juno. I assume you had sort of like heat shield or something on there to survive re-entry, and perhaps a parachute or something. I don't know. But it's awesome that you found your Kerbal in Duna and survived. Either that or, uh, who was it? Bill has got a clone and you sent him to Duna. <laughs> anyway, let's get this refueling on the way to Jing, to Jing De Jong. Is going to be refueled if we can get this on the way. But I think, yeah, I ran over RTS fuel. So I had to use the engine with this one. Luckily, we've got a bit more Delta V with this. In fact, we've got extra fuel in this just in case. Oh, ramming. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna kill this Kerbal. Yeah. Oh, we hit the egg tank. <laughs> you can just imagine the air leaking out of the capsule now, can't you? <laughs> no. Luckily, he's got a spacesuit on. So sorry to Ding De Jong. Let's transfer that fuel. Give him a full fuel tank. He'll then ha he's now got enough Delta V. Basically, I want to send him directly to Kerbin because we've only got a heat shield on this. We can't do a proper orbit insertion around Eve and land him safely near the Eve base. So we're gonna send him directly to Kerbin. Then at one point we'll launch him, send him from Kerbin to Eve, and then hey presto, we got another Kerbal on Eve. I may put you on an airbase, so it may be a bit of time. Anyway, let's get him on the way and let's get to some comments. From Brar Russell. Orbiter, thank you for remembering me from your live stream. I am glad I'm with my new friends on Eve in the drop pod. Hope this can be the next episode of Kerbal Quest. Well, sort of. You've well, seen you, we added a new Kerbal. And we'll be adding a new one. Perhaps not in this episode, but soon. Anyway, I'm going to deorbit this for, but I'm also going to use the engine to reduce our insert into the atmosphere. So hopefully this will work. Anyway, from Jean Pierre Schutte, Schutte. I'm sorry if I'm botching your name. But he goes and says, "Try not to sound like Scott Malley. 
I'm not in this call. I'm not in Scottish here. I can't even do the Scottish accent properly, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> but do I sound like Scott Malley? Oh yeah, we killed Jung De Jong. I missed that bit. <laughs> Bulls, sorry. We're gonna have to re. I decided that was gonna be our simulation. In the simulation, he died, so we're gonna go for it proper now. And the clouds are gone. Yes, the cloud. Some for some reason, quick save and quick load on this. You get a mess up on the textures of the game of the um, the clouds mods or wherever you got. Ah, oh, and then it comes back, obviously. From Joseph M. Great Planet. I assume you mean Eve. It is a bit of a great planet or great planet. I suppose it'd be a bit more of a meme, is it? I did. Is that what's a meme? I don't know what a meme is. It confuses me. Anyway, from Viper to C. 5k subs. Woot woot! Congratulations! I missed the stream again. Good excuse though. I was out of town today. I even missed the local ball game. Season opener. I'll try to catch a stream next weekend. Hopefully I'll be streaming on Sunday. Since I don't have anything planned. I look forward to see you know there. Anyway, I asked him what what ball game he's on about, and he's on about American football. I don't watch American football. I think the closest thing we've got to American football is rugby. Except we don't wear pads. I'm not sure if it's dangerous, much more dangerous than your American football, but you do ram into each other. However, we do have very bad injuries in Amer and not in American football, in rugby. It's a Welsh sport, by the way. From no one here, did you hear about NASA probe, Na the probes NASA sent to an asteroid? Yes, I have. In fact, I'm looking forward to it. But also, there's a, there's one there that got Heba Hebashi probe and these, what is it called? Yes, Hayabusa, Hayabusa two probe at an asteroid ready to pick up a sample and return it to Earth. From Jeff 300, I, the wise king of Paul, have saved my money. And there she have enough money for star citizenship I really want. I would love a cubicle, a crucible, flying around as an interstellar mechanic. That makes house calls to wherever they was, you are sound wherever you are sounds awesome. The only problem is I no longer it is no longer on sale, which makes buying a bit difficult. Which is a shame. And I've anyway I've got Star Citizen, which I can't wait to play properly. I had a little thing in it. I've got two more comments here, and then back to the game. From Spellmaster45, okay, first, your videos are fun and entertaining. I'm watching right now in bed with a cold. <coughs> they make me feel better, XD. Second, don't mean to be rude, but I asked you to be added a while ago, but I never saw myself. I wanted to make sure that you didn't forget about adding me. No, don't worry. I'm going to add you in the next episode because I'm trying to get through Kerbals. I've decided I haven't sent all the Kerbals who have asked. Probably some of them not even watch it now. So I will be trying to concentrate on that. Getting the Kerbals out there. Even if it's on a simple base like I did on EVE. I'm perhaps not adding extra modules. Then we'll go back and add extra modules. So yeah, I'll be concentrating on that. And from Sam, Augur. THX. I think he means thanks. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and yes. I had a look at these trees. That's why he's running up the hill. The top of the trees don't look right. When you look at the top, it looks like it's an upside down umbrella or something. Or inverted. Or I don't know. It does not look right. Anyway, that was going to be the outro, but no. I decided we're going to get to Jane De Jong running down the hill. In fact, I'm going to invent a new sport. <laughs> As he's trying to run down the hill fast, you can see he's tripping over. I decide, okay, let's see what happens if you jump down a hill. And if you like the video, crank that like button like an engineer. Go on, jump! Yay! It's the new sport. It's the curl rolling down the hill sport. Obviously, you're going to have to have a hill which the curls won't kill themselves from. Anyway, guys, I'm a painter. Trust me, I'm an engineer. <laughs> and I will see you in the next episode for more Kerbal Down the Hill Rolling Fun.
or maybe on the live stream on Sunday. See you then.